Right, ladies and gentlemen, back to this evening is amateur K1 over three. Two minute rounds of action in the super middleweight division. Would you welcome first into the blue corner the representing ultimate athlete, Sokol Sokolai. Would you welcome his opponent into the red corner? Representing Dragons Kickboxing, Tom Beach! So, so Cal Suckerley versus Tom Veach, and I believe this was a late replacement bout, Mal. Yeah, this was made this afternoon, this bout, Rob. Both men were let down previously, 
and they decided to, the rate was right, so they'd come together. So they haven't had time to worry over this one, as it were. They didn't think they were fighting until literally about an hour ago. And as you can see, super middleweights are their big men. Both looking comfortable. Tom with very low hands, though, Mount. Yep, that, that, that's either, well, I was just about to say that's either confidence or bravado because he got caught with the right there and it inspired him to come flying back, but that's a heavy right hand from Sokol. Heavy kicks as well. Big smile there from Sokol, Rob. Some very heavy shots being thrown out. Big looping shots from Tom Veach. He's got to be careful though, Rob. As he comes flying in, the danger there is the big right hand to Sokol. They've planted their feet early, so all these shots, as you rightly said, are hard. And there's, there's the danger, the hooks of Sokol as Tom comes in. Chasing his man, Tom Veach. So, Cole, just a little more composed of the two. And again, our referee will break them because unlike Muay Thai, they've got, once they clinch, they've got to strike and release instantly. But, but Rob, there's two big men in here and cardio is going to play a part because they planted their feet immediately in the opening round. And that's K1. It's about aggression and power. And that's what these two have gone for straight from the start. As you said, that another big shot thrown him out. So, Cole, on that left hook looks very, very dangerous. Well, there's the Superman punch there from Tom as he heard the, the last 10 seconds come in. And overall, Rob, it's been pretty even. You've got the big boxing punches of Sokol and you've got the movement of Tom. It's, um, I think Tom's got to be very wary because they, they look like very solid shots from Sokol. And we saw there, it's off the right or the left hand. He's equally adept with either when he throws those hooks. Yeah, that left hook for me, Malk, is a real danger tool from Sokol. You know, if you're in Tom's corner now as as well as he's doing, you need to tell him to keep his hands up because that left hook is a beast. I agree, you know, some people, I said they work through that confidence, they use that, they use it to give a little shimmy so that you don't know where the attack's coming from. But what we have noticed, as Tom closes the gap, Sokol's got good hand-eye coordination and catches him on the way in. So he's got to be very careful and make sure that when he comes in, as you said, I feel his hands have got to be tight before he throws his own work. Because this is super middleweight, one punch and this can be all over. Touch of gloves and we're into round two. Tom stalks his man. But again, Malk, see how low the hands are from Tom. They are low, he's throwing the kicks right, but this is the danger for him when the combinations come back. There's the hooks that are so dangerous. And it's traditional K1 there, you bring the legs low, you chop low, then you bring the hands up over the top and that's exactly what Sokol did. But to be fair to Tom, He's taken those shots, he doesn't look phased. It's almost as if they sound very powerful and strong, but Tom soaked them up. Tom with a huge right hand there of his own. Well, this is the thing, Rob. He's been walking through the punches of Sokol, and he's had the hands down, he's shown no respect, but he hasn't been hurt either. And right. as you saw again, there's that teasing. That, that's to, to get your man to commit. You feel that Tom wants Sokol to commit so he can counter it. Good work inside there from Tom as well, chopping away to the body. He's certainly wearing his man down. Well, what he's doing, Rob, is he's doing his work, and then instead of coming away, he's pushing in, which stops Sokol replying on the way out. A lot of fighters will do their work and step back, which gives you the chance to counter. Watch Tom. He steps in. Here we go. Look, he'll do his work. Then he steps into the man and comes forward and makes the ref split them. Now, it's a great tactic because you're saved from any shots as you're on the way out. And you can see Sokol now sucking in the, the deep breaths, trying to breathe deep. Hands on hips. You can see it's really taking his toll on him. Well, Rob, here's the thing. Um, his mind was relaxed. He was, he was accepting the fact he had no bout today. 
So that does something to you mentally. And then suddenly you're told, do you want this? To his credit, he said, yeah. Tom Veach, the same. His opponent had pulled out. They said, Tom, we've got a match. The boys met. They were the same way. They went, let's get it on. So, you know, you, you've gone from not expecting to have a fight and watching your teammates to being in there second on the bill. And Tom actually said when Leo, our promoter, said to him, where do you want to go? He said, well, put it where it's meant to be. The second fight. Let's get this over. It's fair enough. <laughs> Now, they're both breathing heavily, as you rightly said, Rob, at the end of two rounds. Both throwing huge bombs, Mount, trying to get this fight finished. Now, there's the finish of the second round. But as I said to you, one thing in Tom's favour with, the, with these hands down is he's taken Sokol's best shots. When he replies, he stays in the pocket. Then he pushes forward, forcing Sokol to push him off or the ref to split them. That is very um, inducive to being safe. You can't, you can't get the arms working when your opponent's pushed in tight. But he's also making Sokol work subtly, which we're noticing in this corner. And they planted their feet from round one. Both are there. So what we're saying is they've got to the level where they can absorb these punches. So I think cardio and work rate could be the key in this third round. Yeah, for me, Tom's definitely put in the work rate. The cardio seems a little bit better as I look at the two in the cage. It'll be really interesting to see how they go at this third round. For me, he started off the more composed in Sokol, but as the fight's gone on, as you said, Tom's been forcing the pressure, forcing the pace, and now he, as we get into the later rounds, he looks the more composed. I agree, Rob, and I mean, they're really trying to motivate Sokol here. As we know, when you have two fighters with this much power, it can be over in the blink of an eye. Well, we, we say about punch absorption and, and having taken it, but if it's on the button, it doesn't matter. It's an instant reflex. If you're caught cleanly on the chin, it doesn't matter. People say you've got a solid chin, you've got a glass jaw. If it's right on the point, the nerve endings, you go down for your own safety so that you're totally cold, and when you hit the canvas, you, you're relaxed. So what I'm saying is, yes, they both sucked it up, but if you get that perfect punch, for example, that uppercut or the chin's up high, you will go down. And that is still a risk here in the third and final round. But you see, Tom stalks there. He comes forward. And then when you think he's going to go back, he actually pushes in. And that's where he's been successful. You see, he's stalking. He's preparing. He comes in. And now, look, when he gets in there, he pushes in. It's Sokol has to push him away to keep that range. Now, the way to do that is the front kick or literally, genuinely push him away to get that range. Good left knee there from Sokol. And again, Tom dropped back off of that knee. And see, again, you see he chops low with the leg, comes over with the right hand over the top, and then stays there, making it difficult for Sokol to reply. Now, I don't know if that's a groin shot with the knee there. If he's given time to recover, it's the groin. If, if there's no count, our referee's saying that was low. It's always a danger in K1 when the knees are flying like that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, none of it's ever intentional. The knees and feet and hands, these things do happen. So, just a little word with Tom there. And Sokol saying he's ready. They're going to be straight back at it. So we've checked, he's definite, he's ready to go again. Third and final round, he touched gloves to acknowledge the blow. Oh, and there's the right hand, but you see again, look, Tom takes it and comes straight back. This has been the problem for Sokol. Those punches have been straight and clean, but it hasn't dropped his man, and he's come straight back at him. And there's the danger with that knee, that was close to being the groin again with that knee. And Tom jumps in, closes the gap. Now, that's all Sokol had to do earlier. Step off the line. When your opponent comes in hard and fast, step round him. Step off that centre line so you're not pushed back by him. As it is, Rob, they're both feeling the pace now, you can tell. Stinging big right hand, but just misses. And Sokol looks to his corner for inspiration, and he's told high kick, high kick. 
Let's see if he'll carry out that instruction. But instead, Tom brings the Superman punch in and then, look, closes the gap again. Sokol tries to drive that right knee in, but they can't hold like this. They've got to break cleanly quickly. And we're in the last 10 seconds of the round. I've got a feeling they're going to go with the red corner, the judges, for the aggression and the constantly coming forward. But again, another very entertaining bout, especially when you consider lastminute.com for both men. Very, very good match. It'll be the judges that decide whose hand gets raised. But as you said, Malk, I think we're possibly looking at a red corner, the more aggressive of the two. is in favour of the blue corner, Sokol! 